So here we have a, a Samsung laptop. Uh, this one is an NP 300E5 or something. And I don't know why I always get them, but this is uh, doing something rather odd. Um, when you power it up, there's nothing to boot from. And the only options you have are to go into the into the setup, into the BIOS, and in here, when we have a look at the boot options, yep, there's nothing to boot from, and other things you might want to do, like here, changing the secure boot so that you could boot from something else, all the options uh, are greyed out, so you can't do anything. There's one little clue there, Win8 certificates, uh, when looking online it appears that this is um, quite a common problem it, with the, the BIOS on these Samsung units. Uh, it's just been, it's, 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 it's scrambled somehow, um, we need to perhaps re reflash it. Uh, the challenge there is that the, uh, the, the ROM, uh, EEPROM, is soldered onto the board, so we have to take the entire thing apart and unsolder it and then we have to find a suitable file to flash it with. So um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. So here's the general arrangement of the circuit board, the motherboard, having removed it from the, the, from the machine. I've taken the precaution of removing the, uh, the backup battery. I'm not sure if that's absolutely necessary. Uh, but the device that we're interested in, the actual, uh, actual ROM, is located here. Uh, it's just focus in on that a bit for you. So I've managed to zoom in a little bit so I think it's time to get the, the microscope out just to show you the, the arrangement of the IC before we unsolder it. So here we can see the device more clearly on the motherboard. We need to unsolder it to program it would you believe in this day and age. Here is uh, the device that I'm using to, to program, this little programmer. Uh, I think it's actually intended for uh, changing the ROMs on, on cars and the engine management system. But uh, it works extremely well and it's not that expensive um, considering that we're recovering a, a laptop worth probably 200 euros. Uh, it's a good investment and I'm sure I'll use it in the future. And this does include the the adapters that you need to put the the little chip in once you've unsoldered it. So to program this little guy, what we need is one of these adapters for the programmer. Uh, it's a good idea to order the adapters with it. Uh, they don't cost very much at all. Um, there are two for this sort of package, but the one that you need uh, is this one here, 200 to 209, as the uh, width of the chip is is 209. So now we can see the chip mounted in the holder, uh, ready to program. This is the page where I happen to find the BIOS uh, Samsung provider utility to update the BIOS, uh, but uh, it only works if you can actually boot into Windows. You can't get the, 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 the dot .bin, the, the binary files uh, on their own. So kindly these folks have uh, have uploaded the, the BIOS and that's where I got it from and I'll put a link in the description to that. So having put the device into the programmer, um, let's just see, let's check, uh, read the ID, and we've got a chip ID in there. Um, we know that this BIOS is no good but uh, just as good practice, let's just read have on the chip. Um, it doesn't agree with the device ID, but let's uh, not worry too much about that at this point. So let's have a look and see what it's actually read. 
So we can see there's some some stuff in there. Continue very much. But, uh, lots of stuff in there. Okay. So we'll just save that. Um, so save just really. As practice. So now we're going to read in the file that we downloaded from the internet, which is this guy here. program it. So programming successful. All we have to do now is solder it back to the board. So now for the moment of truth, what is going to happen? So far so good, at least it boots to this point. Ah, a little windows roundy roundy thing. And there we have it. In the fullness of time, we get to the desktop. So, uh, a recovered Samsung N300. Excellent news.